Welcome to The Advocates, I'm Aaron Dean. Well, the Out 100 list is here and it's bringing together advocates to recognize their victories. 2018 honoree Ashley Marie Preston says showing queer joy can be an act of resistance. We may win the battle, but the war is ongoing when it comes to our basic rights and human dignity. And so I think oftentimes we think that liberation is this far off destination, but liberation is in the now. It's every second, minute, hour, day, week that we decide to tap into joy as an act of resistance. And so because it is an ongoing effort, it's important to be able to have mentors that are there to help people do the work in a sustainable way. Download the Advocate Channel app to watch exclusive Out 100 coverage, including backstage footage and red carpet interviews starting November 24th through the 26th watch the Out 100 special marathon streaming live on the advocatechannel.com and the Advocate Channel app Fitness is an important aspect of life, but many queer people might be hindered by barriers. Sustainable health coach Sam Light is bashing those barriers with a new platform called Pride Fit. It's helping users achieve their goals with a community that inspires. Sam, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing so well. How are you? I'm good. I feel like I'm overdressed. I need to put on my workout gear to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is actually a failing on my part. I need to learn how to dress in anything other than workout gear. <laughs> no, no, you, you're perfect. This is what we're here to talk about. Talk about health and wellness. So, you know, I, I really want to know what made you want to enter the fitness world and specifically when it comes to helping queer people? Yeah, I mean, I definitely had some rough experiences growing up in fitness, you know, when different sports growing up in Wisconsin uh, that left a pretty bad taste in my mouth, right? And then when I went to school for music theater and I kind of thought that I needed to look a certain way to be an actor, uh, I found that the type of fitness that was associated with that thinking uh, didn't serve me super well. And then when I moved to New York City and I found a group of queer friends who I was going to the gym with and who were just a really phenomenal community, that's when I learned how to really enjoy it and to work out uh, for more holistic and sustainable reasons and to, you know, think about the long term here. Um, so that's when I started personal training. That's when I started Pride Fit and the rest is kind of history. Yeah. And, you know, and when we think about the intersections of the queer community and gym culture, what are some of those hangups? You know, statistically, we see, you know, gay men can have a very hyper focused, you know, mentality when it comes to their physical appearance. But when we talk about those intersections, what, what's going on there? Yeah, I think that it's part of our culture that I'm hoping we're ready for a complete uh, kind of revamp because, for whatever reason, we've decided that there is this ideal body standard that we always need to be chasing toward. And I found this to be incredibly toxic. Mm -hmm. um, in Pride Fit, we are very much not trying to say that aesthetics are not part of the equation. Of course, when people start exercising, or when people start thinking about their nutrition, your aesthetics are going to be part of that, right? Uh, but we really try and focus on more of a holistic approach of looking at how does your body feel? How can we look at exercise as something that you're going to get to do for the rest of your life? So let's learn how to enjoy it. Uh, and the really great part about this is that it flips the script and allows for the aesthetic to be the cherry on top rather than the actual meat and potatoes of the reason that you're really exercising. No, let's talk about Pride Fit. You created this app. It's on my phone. I've signed up. And you know, there it you created, is. <laughs> you know, this online fitness community, you know, that's, and that's the main thing, the community to get queer people active and have the support while doing it. Tell us how did this all come to be? What is this app? You know, tell us everything. Yeah. So, I mean, during the pandemic, uh, I wasn't doing any personal training in person anymore. And I was doing the programming for my husband and I. And after about six months of that, I kind of said, well, let's see if my old personal training clients might like this virtually. And so I launched a fitness program and it was not inherently queer to start, but it's what it really organically became. And it was this really beautiful thing where uh, this queer community came together and for maybe the first time ever, people were exercising not just because they wanted to look a certain way in their swimsuit. They were exercising because they finally saw that oh, when I have these healthy habits around nutrition and exercise and recovery, 
I feel so much better. And I really need to be focusing on how I feel in this really hard time in our lives during the pandemic. Um, and so that is how PrideFit kind of organically came to be. And, and after about a year of that, to when we were growing and having this community of like-minded people lifting each other up on, in their workouts, uh, that's when we decided, oh, we really need to turn this into an app to make it even more accessible for people. And that is when we launched in October, we launched this app and it has been absolutely incredible. Just hopefully allowing for people to have a little bit of a lower barrier to entry and to feel like going to the gym is more accessible for them. And you know, what can users find in this app that will help them achieve their goals? But of course, like you said, in the most healthy way possible. Of course, the aesthetic is the cherry on top, not like you said, that meat of it all. But what how, what can we expect in this app that's different? Yeah, I mean, we're trying to really make sure that your bases are covered with our three big holistic goals. And that is going to be exercise, nutrition, and then recovery. So hopefully we are giving you every single type of exercise that is going to be right for you. So we've got tons of beginner workouts, we've got tons of intermediate workouts, and we've got workouts for people who have been exercising for the past 10 years. Uh, we're trying to really cover our bases there from cardio to mobility to hit all over the place. So that kind of hits our fitness wing, right? And then when you go into our community, which is my favorite part about Pride Fit is that we have this global community of people lifting each other up and kind of in that same boat, cheering each other on. Uh, you'll also find that we've got all of these nutrition resources at your disposal. So that's going to be shopping lists. That's going to be how to get more protein. Uh, that's going to be, you know, what are some smoothie recommendations and smoothie guides or, you know, breakfast guides or any of those things. So then we hit that nutrition component and we've got tons of recipes in the app as well. And then lastly, we're going to talk about recovery, and that is going to be how do we improve your sleep? How do we make sure that you are taking care of your mental health and that you are learning stress management tools? Uh, because that is a huge part of our physical health. Um, we really try and combine all of these things that, so that you have all of these resources at your disposal to be able to create some sustainable habits. You know, all the time in different queer circles, we, we talk about the importance of community when it comes to our mental health, when it comes to just supporting each other in general. But what when we talk about fitness and wellness, how can community really take you to that next level, especially in the lives of queer people? Yeah, it's a really good question. I, I think I don't want to put words into people's mouths, but I think that many of us as queer people have these negative experiences experiences growing up with exercise and fitness, where we don't feel like that is necessarily our space. So the ability to have a space that is for you and is safe and is giving you all these resources is really important because I believe that the best way to make sure that you feel comfortable walking into a gym, which I'm going to be really honest, a lot of times I don't feel comfortable walking into a gym and I've been doing this for 10 years. Um, the best way to make you feel comfortable doing that is to make sure that you are educated uh, and that you have a community of people behind you who are building your confidence and making you remember that you deserve to be there and you deserve to exercise and work on your fitness just like everybody else there. And last question as we wrap it up, how can people get connected to you and also where can people download PrideFit? Yeah, you can do it right at the App Store. Look for PrideFit, and then you can look for us on all the social platforms at PrideFit. Thanks so much for watching The Advocates. Download the app in the Apple or Google Play Store to stream us live, and you can even watch us on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'm Aaron Dean.